I was sent these fluoro yellow motors which are perfect for a 5 inch freestyle build and they inspired me to do the build in a fluoro yellow theme. But the motor wires are white. So what I've decided to do is sleeve them with fluoro yellow paracord. And these are all the parts that I'm going to need to go into this 5 inch freestyle FPV drone build. The motors I'm going to be using are the MEPS King SZ2207 in 1750kV. And they also come in a range of different colours and different KV options. They've been sent to me at no cost by MEPS King. The details of this collaboration are in the description if you want to know more. To get this build underway, I needed to take the stack from an older build that's just been sitting on the shelf and not getting any flight time. The stack I'm going to be using is the Speedy B F405 stack, which comes with a 50 amp ESC that I've already flashed to Blue Jay. Now that I have the stack off, the next step to complete this build is going to be to assemble the frame. The Quad Mueller Siren F5 seemed really easy to put together and relatively quick, or so I thought. It turned out that I forgot to put the lock plate in, which does what its name suggests, keeps everything locked in. So I had to remove the stack screws and the arms and put the block plate in and then put it all back together, which was a bit of a pain in the butt. While this was a quite painstaking process, I also snapped the head off one of the stack screws, but lucky Quad Mueller include a spare stack screw in the kit, which got me out of trouble. With the frame assembled, it was time to sleeve the motors with the fluoro yellow paracord. And what I found was four different ways to sleeve a motor and only one of them was the easiest and the quickest. For the first motor, I fed each wire through individually. And as you'd expect, the first wire with nothing in its way went through pretty easily. The second wire was a little bit harder and the third wire was an absolute pain in the butt. All up, it took me 20 minutes to sleeve the first motor. There needed to be a better way because I wasn't going to be spending 20 minutes on each individual motor. I used a skewer, which I taped the first wire to, and that came through the paracord really easy, as did the second wire. The paracord wasn't wide enough for the skewer to fit through for the third wire, so I threaded that through like the first motor, and that just took ages. The second motor all up took about 10 minutes, which while it was an improvement, but it still could be a faster process. So for the third motor, I tried the same feeding two through together and one at the end, but it still was an absolute pain in the butt. But it wasn't until the fourth motor when I made the discovery that would sleeve a motor in under two minutes. And what I tried for the fourth motor was to feed all three of the wires through together and at once with the paracord bunched up. And this was by far the quickest and easiest solution and I couldn't believe that I didn't figure this out from the start. Then it was time to bolt the motors to the frame and with the build taking shape, it of course starting to look the part in its fluoro yellow. Now it came time for the video system. I was tossing up between running HD0 or the Cadex Walksnail Avatar HD system. And to help me decide which system I should go with for this particular build, I asked you in a community poll. At the time of the build, the poll was a lot closer than I actually thought it was going to be. 53 to 47 in Walksnail's favour. But now it's time to put the Cadex Avatar Air Unit on the frame. And to keep the build clean, I like to put the digital VTX on before the stack so I can run the camera wire under the ESC and that just makes it a lot clean. With the VTX installed, now it was time for the stack, receiver and the solder up the motors. I then ran the motor wires around the standoffs, cut them to length and soldered them up to the ESC. And the build was looking really clean and I was very happy with my handiwork on the soldering. The white wires were still a little bit of an eyesore and I actually would have preferred them to be in black so they blend in better with the frame. Now when I stole the stack from the other build I kept the receiver wired up which is a happy model RP1 running Express LRS so that saved me a bit of time there. And I was pretty happy with how well this all came together and now it was time for the final assembly. But I ended up forgetting something absolutely critical and without it well let's just say it wouldn't be FPV. After putting the top plate on and screwing it all down I realized I missed two key things. So unscrewing the top plate, I put some M2 nuts on the stack screws so the stack was all nice and snug. And then I discovered the critical error that I had made. I forgot to wire up the video transmitter. Fortunately, this is just plugging in the cable to the air unit and soldering the four wires to the flight controller. Now with all of this done and hopefully it was the last of my stuff ups, it was time for the most important part of any build and that is to power on the quad. To prevent my new build going up in smoke, I used my smoke stopper and it was all good, thankfully. Now it was time for configuration. 
Because the stat came from another build, there really wasn't much to do in beta flight. And given how much yellow is just on this build, I've dubbed it Big Bird. With sleeving the motors, the order of the wires can get jumbled up inside of the cables. And that means the motors could be spinning in the wrong direction. So using Betaflight's motor direction wizard, I set all the motors to spin in their correct direction. And in my case, that's gonna be props out. Then it was just a matter of updating the firmware on the video transmitter and doing a test arm to make sure everything was all good. And thankfully it was. Now there's just one thing left to do, and that's to go out and fly it. I'm really impressed with how the build turned out. It looks absolutely fantastic. The question is, would I sleeve the motors again? If I was to do it again, I wouldn't be so inclined to use paracord as that was just an absolute pain in the butt. But I do like with how well it's turned out. I know a lot of other pilots do cable sleeving and use the sleeves that you can buy from your electronics store. I just don't like how big and thick they all look and it just doesn't make the build look really clean in my opinion. I know this video was a bit of a speed run on how to build a quad. So if you wanna see how I build a premium freestyle FPV drone, watch this video here. But if you're completely new to building and don't know where to start, watch this video here where I take you through the complete beginner's guide on how to build an FPV drone. I'm Darren Allett, until next time, don't forget to send it.